Welcome back. You know, a lot of people ask me how I ever got started in this crazy business. I had a kind of roundabout path, uh, but I would say the one thing that really grounds me in my life is none other than my live free or die New Hampshire roots. Watch. I grew up in a really small town in a really small state, um, but I had big aspirations. Growing up, my parents, I think perhaps one of the most valuable things they ever taught me was to aim high. You think about all the adversities that you're meeting in life, you know, every day, like something goes wrong. And if you don't have a positive outlook, if you don't look at the glass as half full, it makes it really hard to get up and try again. People see the good stuff, right? They see, oh, you know, she's successful. They have no idea just how hard it's been along the way and how many times your path starts to turn. When I was like 14 years old, I decided I wanted to be an international opera star. And I read everything I could on opera in, in our school library. My parents couldn't send me to a conservatory. I wanted to go to a conservatory for music. And so I had to find some way to come up with the funds. I <clears throat> read a local ad in the newspaper that there was the Miss New Hampshire pageant and they gave out like $60,000 in scholarship money. And I thought, okay, maybe I'll give that a shot. And I was fortunate enough to win. Miss New Hampshire 1993. <laughs> when I was signing the, you know, the, <laughs> the loans that, that I was going to have to pay this money back and I thought, you know, maybe at some point I, I started to recognize that opera probably wasn't the best way to make a living. I wanted to go to the best school I could in New York and to me that was Columbia University. So I applied and uh, I had all my eggs in that basket. That was the only school I applied to and the only place I wanted to go and I was transferring from a conservatory at the time and I didn't get in. And I was crushed, <clears throat> and I, I read that rejection letter, and I, I moped for uh, a good day. <laughs> and the next day, I got on the phone, and I called the admissions office, and I said, I want to make an appointment, I want to come in and see you. And they said, you know what, why don't you reapply? And so I felt like I got the golden ticket. I'm like, okay, I get a second shot. So I went and did a semester elsewhere. I reapplied to Columbia. Uh, and sure enough, they took me. Perhaps the most important thing, and I think the key to having sort of a successful life from an emotional standpoint, from a career standpoint, and from a financial standpoint, is making sure you find the right partner. Meeting James as young as I did in my early 20s, we've always been there for each other. Now we have these wonderful kids and we think, gosh, how did, how did we ever exist without them? I can't emphasize enough how important it is to be able to find the right partner in life. It's the one thing, if you can somehow get that right, everything else, I promise, will just work. I was studying economics, I was studying history, and so every big investment bank recruits on college campuses. So I made a decision to go to work at Goldman Sachs. Great group of people, great experience, but it wasn't my passion. My mom had been a journalist. She used to tell me when I was little, you'd be a good reporter. The moral of the story is that mom is always right. Got a job at Bloomberg, went on to work um, at CBS Market Watch and CBS News as a business and economics correspondent, although I got my fair share of hurricanes. There was a deal in my family, like, you got one day off, one day off from school, and then my mom would say, get out on your bike and do not come home until you have a job. For me, a small town kid from New Hampshire, it all came down to how I applied myself how I approached things and how I was just never willing to, to take no for an answer and I was never willing to give up. And I'm still not. Oh, that's really great. Emily Reynolds produced that. Thank you so much, Emily. Really, really beautiful, beautiful piece.